You know, the Keller Center, it, it stays on the sidelines. It doesn't prescribe things for students to do. Uh, the Keller Center isn't a research center that's trying to directly solve problems. Instead, what it does is it provides a space for students and faculty to come together and think. I think that the Keller Center is largely reinventing, redefining, who Princeton is, what values we instill in our undergrads, uh, and it's also changing the way the world views us and what we are able to offer uh, to the market after we graduate. I got to take a couple of classes affiliated with the Keller Center, like ELE 491, High Tech Entrepreneurship, which um, was taught by Ed Zhao and is still probably the, the, the class that I look back most fondly on while at Princeton. And this course has really challenged my perception of what I thought it meant to be an entrepreneur. I realized that entrepreneurship wasn't limited to one's technical abilities, but rather was a mindset and was really a mindset that could be applied to just about anything. And so I began to see myself as an entrepreneur first and foremost because of the way that I think. The Keller Center has opened a lot of doors for me um, letting me explore beyond the classroom and really having great experiences with other professors and students about the rapidly changing technology sphere um, and the problem with the lack of policy to go with it. I first experienced the Keller Center at Princeton uh, freshman year through Engineers Without Borders, which they support, and also through an Israeli-Palestinian NGO uh, designing energy solutions for the poorest villagers in the West Bank. And that's an idea that really stuck with me all four years of my college career, is this, this idea of learning how to design for the poor, how to take the resources so lavishly spent on the top 10% of the world and apply them also to the other 90%. I co-founded Frenzy, which is a social network for college students to help them branch out of their social circles and meet new people on campus. We've grown the company to almost 100,000 users now and we've made nearly a million mutual matches and so much of that has been due to the help and support from the Keller Center. Preline is a predictive analytics company within the fashion space. So our goal is to connect brands and consumers pre-season to help the brands get smarter about their inventory buys, their inventory allocation and the marketing spend. Creativity is the heart of the Keller Center. The Keller Center doesn't tell students what to do. Instead, we are encouraged to think on our feet and go find the problems our world faces and creatively find solutions to these problems. If I'm to use only one word to describe Keller Center at Princeton University, I would use a bridge. It is a bridge that connects all the students and the faculties at Princeton to the real outside world of entrepreneurship. The one word that I'd use to describe the Keller Center is supportive. Community. Because the Keller Center does such a great job of pulling together current students and alumni and creating such a great environment, uh, it's really just a wonderful resource. I would say Crossroads because the Keller Center is really where students can come together and create something of value. The Keller Center was a place where it didn't matter which degree in AB or BSE you were getting. It only mattered what were you trying to do to make the world a better place? What were you trying to do to act in the nation's service and the service of all nations? I'm Jane Young. My name is Daphne Earp. Hi, my name is Dali Katan. My name is Nikhil Basu Trivedi. My name is Karen DeFreitas Bart. Hi, this is uh, Dylan Poo. Julia McAllister. Hi, everyone, I'm David Newell Smith. My name is Michael Pinsky. I'm Carmina Mansonon, and we want to wish the Keller Center a happy 10 years. Mm -hmm.